Tom Appleton distinguished himself at some of Canada's leading aviation firms, Spartan, de Havilland, Bombardier. From precise survey work to testing and delivery of iconic stall aircraft, to his involvement with regional jets, Tom's contributions reflect the leadership and innovation of the best of Canadian aviation. Born in England in 1941, Thomas Edmund Appleton became enamored of aviation, watching a flight of Spitfires growling through Glasgow skies. His family sailed to Canada in 1954 and recalled the winter train trip to Ottawa in negative 25 degree weather as straight out of Dr. Zhivago. But it was planes rather than trains that continued to capture Tom's young imagination. He joined the Air Cadets in Ottawa and took lessons at the Ottawa Flying Club, soloing in 1958. The club then shared a hangar with Spartan Air Services, and in 1961, Tom jumped at the chance to join the company for the summer flying season. He soon joined Spartan full-time, flying its newly acquired Piper Aztecs on survey work across Canada's north. A chance to fly a more diverse fleet, including a Canso, led Tom to join Surveyor Limited in 1964. He was soon flying in South America in the Republic of Suriname, and in Africa, in Nigeria, and on the Ivory Coast. After answering an advertisement for a test and demonstration pilot, in 1966, Tom found himself in an interview with David Fairbanks, then manager of flight operations at de Havilland, Canada. Fairbanks hired him. Over the next 15 years, Tom's work at de Havilland saw him flying the Twin Otter, Buffalo, Caribou, and Dash 7 across the globe as a demonstration, instructor, and development test pilot. Tom fondly remembers these early days, which included significant travel. While in Kabul, he flew Mohammed Zahir Shah, the longest serving and last king of Afghanistan. Later, he trained pilots on caribou aircraft in Albacete, Spain, a trip that doubled as his honeymoon with his wife Heather, whom he met earlier when flying at Farnborough. In 1973, Tom enjoyed training aircrew of the Royal Nepal Airlines on the Twin Otter, including at the Singambosh airstrip. At 12,402 feet high and only 1,312 feet long, the strip is the highest in Nepal and the nearest landing point to the Mount Everest base camp. Asked to evaluate it, Tom recalls that one lands to the northeast, toward Mount Everest, but the overshot is not possible. The takeoff in the opposite direction is fairly easy, as after lifting off one just falls into the Kumbu Valley, about six or 7,000 feet deep. The airline agreed that it was not a viable operation. As far as he knows, that Twin Otter was the only twin-engine aircraft to ever land at Singambosh. On 16 February 1976, Tom flew a record climb in a buffalo, with altitudes recorded at 3,000, 6,000, and 9,000 meters. The flight lasted some 13 minutes from takeoff to touchdown and was supervised by executive director of the Royal Canadian Flying Club Association, Bill Paris. It was fitting that Tom was flying a buffalo. A year prior, de Havilland's chief test pilot, Bob Fowler, had made Tom project pilot on the Buffalo Development Project. So began a busy five years of engineering test flying, sales demonstrations, and liaising with customers. Tom also took on extensive testing of the Dash 7, notably steep approach development, which led to the construction of London's LCY downtown airport. In the early 1980s, Tom entered management, a decision encouraged by de Havilland's president, John Sanford, and was appointed VP customer support. Then, after Boeing's purchase of de Havilland in 1986, he was made VP of marketing and sales, where he led the team responsible for early Dash 8s. Tom joined Bombardier in its Canadair regional jet program in 1991. There, he faced a new challenge, convincing clients of the CRJ's profitability. After Bombardier purchased de Havilland in 1992, Tom, now executive VP of the regional jet division, formed a team that made important early sales of CRJs in Canada and in the United States. Tom remains justifiably proud that this team effectively created a new airline segment. When the CRJ program concluded, it had delivered more than 2,000 jets. From 1996 to 2003, Tom served as president of Bombardier's amphibious aircraft division. He is likewise proud of this team's accomplishments, including sales of the firm's unique CL-415 water bombers in Ontario, Italy, France, Greece, and Croatia. Throughout his career, 
Tom Appleton has been recognized by his peers, including his election as Fellow of the Royal Aeronautical Society. He was a member of the Society of Experimental Test Pilots and director of the European Region's Airline Association, among others. Retirement has not stopped Tom's involvement in aviation, and he has enjoyed consulting for many Canadian and overseas clients on a variety of aeronautical files. All the same, Tom is now able to find more time for his hobbies, including vintage sports cars, rallying, touring, and, most importantly for he and his wife Heather, staying close to their four grandchildren. For his contributions to aviation in Canada, both as a test and development test pilot, and for his part in the sale and success of regional jets, Thomas Appleton was inducted into Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame at ceremonies held in 2022.